Well, we are now uh, crossing from the Anambra 2024 Economic Summit to Abuja now, where the remains of the late Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Taurid Lagbaja, have touched down after being flown this morning from Lagos. The body is at the moment being handed over to the military authority for a continuation of his last rites. Let's tune in. Good afternoon and welcome. Well, the remains of the late chief of army staff have been seen for the first time in the federal capital territory. And that's because he just arrived from, you know, Lagos, where, you know, the reports are from the Nigerian army and came in through NAF 9 ready to make uh, its last uh, journey home. And let's not forget that uh, these uh, shots, they say it's going to be a very brief uh, military ceremony, uh, kicks off uh, the uh, burial uh, protocols and uh, other activities that will be taking place. Well, from here, we hear that later in the day there will be a service of songs at uh, the Nigerian Army Headquarters uh, Garrison at the Mogadishu Cantonment. But before then, we see very senior officers uh, of the Nigerian Armed Forces, particularly generals uh, from the Nigerian seven as a pill bearers leaving the casket and of course bringing him before this battalion of soldiers here willing to pay their last respects well let's let you know that uh, the guards here have been uh, you know on parade since the last uh, one hour thereabouts, uh, expectant of the arrival of the late uh, Chief of Army Staff uh, remains. Let's remind you that the late Chief of Army Staff, uh, Lieutenant General Tarid Abiodun Lagbaja, did pass away on the 5th of November 2024. And before then, he has served for the last 19 months. He served as the Chief of Army Staff of Nigeria from June 2023 when he was appointed alongside other security chiefs by President Abola Ahmed Tunumbu to succeed Lieutenant General Farouk Yahaya. And as his uh, remains uh, makes its way to the front of the parade, being led by some of uh, his men who served with him at various uh, formations. Now, some of them very senior uh, generals, or precise, uh, precisely, I must say, it has been carried by major generals, very visible amongst them. The chief leading the parade. And it was commissioned as a second lieutenant uh, on the 19th of September 1992 to the Nigerian Infantry Corps. And between 1992 and 1995, Lagwaja was platoon commander of the 93 Battalion. And from 1995 to 2001, he was platoon commander of the 72 Special Forces Battalion. Well, in 2001, Lagwajar obtained a bachelor's degree in geography from the Nigerian Defense Academy, and he studied uh, strategic studies at the U.S. Army War College. 
at the Masters level. Now, he was an instructor at the Nigerian Defence Academy from 2001 to 2004. And at the time, Lagbaja was a grade two staff officer in charge of peacekeeping at the Army Headquarters Department of Army Training and Operations. And then he was a directing staff at the Armed Forces Command and Staff College, Jaji, from 2006 to 2009. And so permit me to say, well, for some of these officers, they definitely have served with him for this number of years. Well, many of them obeying his commands, all of them obeying his commands in the last 19 years. And right now, you have been joined by their colleagues in the other arms of the Nigerian Armed Forces from the Navy and also from the Air Force to pay their last respect. As the general begins his journey in the Federal Capital Territory to internment. We are still looking at the profile of uh, the late Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tarida Biodun Lagbaja. In 2009, he became Deputy Chief of Staff at Headquarters 81 Division, and subsequently, he became Commanding Officer at the 72 Special Forces Battalion, Makodi, from 2012 to 2013 and 2014 to 2015. Well, in 2016, he was named the Chief of uh, Staff at the Headquarters 8th Tax Force Division, Mongunu. It's a very solemn ceremony here. Receiving perhaps one of the last and the par and the parade gets to the front where compliments will be paid by other members of the garrison. General Lagbaja participated in Operation Harmony 4 in Bakasi Peninsula, also the United Nations Mission in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Operation Zaki, Internal Security Operation in Benue State, Operation Lafia Dole, Operation Misa, and uh, very recently, just before he became Chief of Army Staff, he also participated in the Operation Udoka, which is an internal security operation in Southeast Nigeria. And just a couple of minutes ago, we listened to the Nigerian national anthem. And after that, a 
very solemn ceremony as the remains makes its way a very short journey to the awaiting ambulance which is going to convey it from the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport here in Abuja to perhaps a resting place until it is ready to be interred. And the guard of honor here is playing the very popular tune, God be with you till we meet again. And we see the acting chief of army staff leading the procession at this point. Right behind the remains of uh, the chief of uh, army staff. And so we see the last steps taken to the ambulance. Some of his classmates serving as uh, pale bearers as the casket approaches the ambulance. And so as we begin to wrap up this ceremony, well, let's remind you that some other burial arrangements includes a service of songs that will be taking place later today. And then tomorrow there will be a funeral service at the Economical Center before he will be taken to the National Military Cemetery where his remains will be interred. But until then, trust me, it's going to be a very solemn experience. 
particularly for this gentleman, officers who have lived, served, fought behind the general, who was an infantry officer. And we can see the casket being taken into the ambulance. Yeah, I please request cameraman not to impede. From where it will make Process his journey back the into the city. Of our dearly departed chief of army staff. Please, cameraman, do well not to impede. A very solemn ceremony, one which definitely will leave memories in the hearts of some of these officers who, as we said before, have lived, some of them trained, many of them mentored by the gentleman officer when he was alive. Call commanders, general officers commanding, very officers, their last respects, begin to pay their last respects at this guard of Ladies and gentlemen, we see the officers paying their last respects. Guards Brigade Nigerian Army. Several of us. And perhaps this wraps up activities for now as we see the motorcade living, being led into the city by the acting chief of army staff. Well, it's been a very solemn ceremony here at the Nandiyadigiwe International Airport where the uh, burial arrangements have indeed uh, kicked off uh, earnestly. You want to say, well, from Lagos, we did see the plane uh, land, a C-130 Nigerian Air Force uh, NAF 918 aircraft, bringing uh, the remains uh, to the Federal Capital Territory, where the rest of the burial arrangements will be taking place, including a service of songs.